Welcome back to continuing coverage of Dell Technologies World. I'm Josh Abrams, and joining us on set now is Chris Mount. Chris, we're here to discuss how PowerScale innovations can help you manage the most demanding AI, ML, and analytics workloads. Very excited to be here, thank you. We're really glad to have you. So let's get right into it, okay? Yeah. Uh, what are the unstructured market trends uh, un sorry, unstructured data market trends. Yeah, so uh, one of my absolute favorite things about this job is getting out to go to talk to all of these innovative customers and hear what they have to say back to us. We, we, you know, we look at analyst reports and those inform us as, as well, but it's really our core strategically aligned customers that we get all this feedback from. And usually those conversations, four, four things come up or at least three out of the four things come up. And, the first of which is you know, what we had been talking about maybe even as soon as last year is emerging workloads and these going up the performance stack are really here to stay. And where they were dabbling in it last year, this year it's business critical. And we, we need to provide the, the breadth of the solution and enterprise data services that we, we have, but also go up the performance stack to be able to solve for those problems. The next is data storage and data security are the same thing. Um, so the threat of cyber attacks are with ever-growing sophistication, the same kinds of AI workloads that we're meant to be solving the performance needs for. AI makes cyber threats all the more sophisticated. Um, and then th the next after that is really, for, for us as a product team, is about flexibility, um, but for the, the customer ends up being, how can I go and deploy anywhere my applications or data is? Um, and that is a multi-cloud story. So. Uh, I need to go to cloud A or B or C, as well as my own internal cloud um, right. and, and deploy across with the same kind of experience. Um, and the last of which is we sell outcomes, right? We don't sell a, a you know, dollar per terabyte thing. We, we sell a solution and those solutions are growing in complexity and needing the, the expertise and the subject matter expertise to go and shepherd those business problems into a full stack solution. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, how is the PowerScale roadmap reacting to these trends? I, yeah, I like to think that we're ahead of them. Uh, Hopefully. You know, so <laughs> the team, really, it's been, it's been a fantastic thing to watch. I'm so proud of the, the work that's come out of the team in the last 12 months. The, the effort that we have put into going up the performance stack, so with 1FS 9.5 that was released in Q1 of, of this year, we saw a 55% jump in performance for all Flash platforms. We're saturating 100 gigabit Ethernet on a 1U box for our storage that scales out to 252 nodes, right? So it's the relentless pursuit of performance on, on 1FS has been a great thing to see. And we've got some really exciting stuff upcoming in that land as well. So, um, But well, you're not going to tell us anything not else? Gonna, not going to tell us right now, but it's, <laughs> I'm just so excited. So please come find me for an NDA conversation. I just, I want to tell you, I just, I really do. Um, and the, the, next, the next bit for, for security, we have done a sort of complete overhaul of 1FS security. More than a thousand different requirements in the last year to go and change the cryptographic libraries to uh, password protection needs to internal firewall to uh, MFA and a, a whole host of things in pursuit of one, getting some DOD certifications beyond on the APL. Uh, and two common criteria certification for security. So those those are coming out now, ish or in the near future. Um, we can we can start talking about those uh, certifications coming to life. The next flexibility is is probably the nearest to my heart because in a in the power scale land, we've always been talking about a hardware based journal where we have relentlessly tuned performance performance to be optimized for these appliances, right? And the team has gone and severed our reliance on a hardware journal and built a software journal that today we announced we're deploying in cloud, truly software defined uh, 1FS as part of Apex file storage for AWS. Um, and that opens up a just whole new world of opportunities for us to go and deploy in any kind of software defined land, which again, would love to talk more about sure. under NDA. Well, um, really quickly, we're yeah. under a minute to go, uh, just really quickly, we're talking Apex file storage for AWS. What's the impact for Dell's customers? Oh, it makes, so yes, it makes it so much easier to do like a lift and shift of applications to the cloud. It, it um, all of the same data services features that you're familiar with with 1FS are existing there. The same use case, you don't have to retrain or refactor your applications to go and run on. And uh, it just works. You stand it up, it works like an existing PowerScale 1FS cluster just in the cloud. And 
um, for more complicated workflows in terms of bursting to the cloud. It's the same replication tools that all of our customer base knows and, and loves, right? And uh, they can go and take advantage of the elastic compute available in AWS. And uh, it's, it's truly game changing for a lot of our customers. Sounds amazing. I, I think so. <laughs> I love your passion, Chris. Thank you for stopping by here today. Absolutely. Uh, Chris Mount again, and uh, Power PowerScale uh, PowerScale One FS. Well, yeah, PowerScale and and One FS is the operating system that runs it. Yeah. <laughs> so, go see Chris for more on that. Certainly, uh, some futures only under NDA, of course. And for now, we'll say goodbye to Chris, and we'll head over to Brittany, uh, who's going to meet with Briar Main, a Dell Tech sales engineer who won a contest around breakout sessions. Brittany is here with her story. I'm here with Briar Main. Briar, you're the newly appointed SPS Innovation Lead. Congratulations, first of all. I know you have a ton of things in store for this week, so just a little backstory. Briar's story is a little bit unique in the sense that we ran a contest in pre-sales where we had people submit their ideas for a breakout session. Pre-sales being some of the most technical people that we have at the company, who better to you know tap into to see what ideas are out there and what we can really amplify. So we had, a, I think, over 100 submissions and we had the field vote and your session was the winner. So would you mind sharing a little bit about what you're presenting on and why it's important for customers today? Perfect, thanks so much. I mean, I'm really excited to be here. My session really came from my interactions with customers and what they need. Our, you know, customer obsessed, customer first mentality is really my focus and my session storage in a cloud ready world is really about what customers need and how they can take what they do every day in a traditional manner and apply it to building out their cloud strategy over the next five to 10 years. Now is this something that you package specially for this breakout session contest or is this something that you deliver to customers all the time? So I delivered it to a couple of customers and then I also delivered it to a few of our internal folks to get some feedback and they said, you know what, this is a perfect candidate, put your name in the hat, toss that session in and then I refined it once I won and I'm just really happy to be here, happy to send that message out and really speak to all of our customers here today. I love that and I know this is your first time at Dell Tech World, so what has your experience been like so far? Have you met a lot of employees or is it mostly customer conversations you know, right off the ground? I've been having a good mix. Honestly, it's been customers, it's been employees, partners, and just overall, it's a great atmosphere, a lot of energy, really exciting, and every customer conversation has just brought new ideas to my mind, and it really is a great opportunity to understand exactly what's going on with our customers. That's what's most important, and that's why we're here. Well, and clearly you know what's pertinent for our customers. You know, you're just had the most votes by far, so again, congratulations. Just wanted to give a plug. Come see Briar leading her very own breakout session this Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. You won't want to miss it. We're going to head over to a quick break. <laughs>